I've never seen a yacht like this in my dreams Sailing the seas in boats so grand, it seems But we're just humble sailors Salt upon our cheeks Go classic every day of the week Hey everybody, welcome back to Boat Fool Sailing. Thanks for tuning in last week and thanks for watching uh, this week. Big week this week. We got the three amigos in the office, the three biggest boat fools on the planet. Josh is fresh in from Vermont. Uh, Canadian Ken's in the house. And today we are going to Florida. We're going to see sunny Florida. <laughs> sunny Florida. <laughs> back to Florida. We're, we're going to go find you the top 10 coolest boats for sale for less than $40,000. Now look, just because we say $40,000, that does not mean what they're selling for. It is a buyer's market, so aim low if you're interested in any of these boats. I, I'd even go as 50% off asking price in some Ooh, cases. Yeah. Just to start a conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for I it. I think it's that kind of market. I've heard too. stories yeah. recently. You don't feel a little un uncomfortable with And it's winter time. People want to move these things. That's yeah, right. and don't be afraid of offending anybody. You're just making an offer on a boat they're trying to sell, not the end of the world, right? Right, I think um, so. So who's got the winner today? Uh, that's a good I question. Know. <laughs> Tough know. choices today. I'll go for it. I'm gonna. I say I have no winner. <laughs> you think so? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Well, I got a beauty or two. Yeah. You do? Oh yeah. All right. Well, I was surprised at some of these boats, and frankly, some of them look turnkey and ready to rock and roll right now. Others uh, look uh, like they need a little help, but could be great investments. And uh, as always, we're using our uh, boat full scorecard, and we'll show you how to use that uh, before we get going. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys ready to rock and roll? Let's yeah. do it. All right, yeah. Let's do it. All right, so this is how you use the scorecard in case you're following along at home and scoring the boats. You can compare them at the end of the show. All right, we have five categories, 10 boats. Today we're doing six in detail, four honorable mention. One point the lowest, five is the highest a boat can score with half point increments in between. Seamanship, what do we mean by this? By seamanship, we mean how well has the boat been maintained by the current owner? Uh, is it neat? Is it tidy? Are they demonstrating good seamanship skills in keeping this boat ship shape? Affordability, is it affordable to buy? Is it gonna be affordable to maintain? Comfort, all right, is the boat comfortable? Can you sleep on it? Can you sit forward comfortably in the cockpit? Is it gonna be comfortable to hang out on? Usability, is this boat gonna be easy to use? Can you solo this? Are you gonna need multiple sailors to help you get it on and off the mooring or out of a slip? And is she pretty? Always uh, controversial, but it is subjective. You want to be able to row away from your boat and say, my God, isn't she beautiful? And then you have a total of 25 points for a perfect boat, which we have not yet had. All right, so let's go. All right, everybody, we're going to blaze through these faster than a roller coaster on Thunder Mountain. So let's go. So my first pick of the day is a 1982 Victoria Francis 26, list price of $28,000, located in Palm Bay, Florida. We'll put a map up of where that is. So if you watched our episode a couple of weeks ago, we did another Francis 26 with a full uh, cabin. This is the second iteration uh, from the flat deck they put in the shorter cabin here uh, before they did the full cabin. And this one is cherry. She's really, really pretty. Beautiful. The down below is spick and span clean. You've got a wow. gimbaled stove. All yeah. the bright work down below looks beautiful. Um, all the varnish and the uh, interior is just, you could eat off the floor on this thing it looks like. But, um, Look at this cool uh, stove here, yeah, nice, yeah. Uh, nice, nice sink. Uh, engine looks decent yeah. and uh, looks clean and the head looks nice. It just, it's just a really adorable boat. You got a little bimini there and uh, the, they don't draw a whole lot of water. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, draft is only three feet, 10 inches. So for Florida, this would be pretty sweet. Um, it's got a, a Yanmar uh, seven and a half horsepower inboard diesel with a new cylinder head as of 2022. Uh, she has three berths. Um, but and really really an attractive boat. She's got uh, a chart plotter and uh, You know, she's ready to rock and roll the engine oil has been changed She's uh, for sale by owner a Fisbo and mm. noted to be in good condition So I just want to look at the pictures Low one more ball. time. Yeah. Low ball. Low <laughs> ball 28,000 uh, You know these uh, these are um, Morris built and Chuck Payne designed boats and they are gorgeous. They're fairly rare and they're very, very seaworthy. These have actually uh, circumnavigated and done transatlantics and so forth. So you could take this boat anywhere. It's got a self-tacking jib, it looks like. Frack and, rig. Yeah, fractional rig. Yeah. Um, easy to sail, easy to get going. She has tiller, but uh, let's look at the sailboat data real quick on this. Um, so yes, that's one showing it without the cabin. Right, right, here's, right. this is the original design. This yeah. is one with a shorter cabin um, and uh, and uh, the fractional rig here it's shown this uh, you can't tell on that one but um, draft of uh, 
just under Jeez. four feet. And 200 of these were made. Again, um, beam of just over eight feet and length overall of 26. And it holds 15 gallons of water. And uh, CLA displacement 15. She's a nice stiff boat at 51, ballast displacement. And uh, heavy displacement at 316. And a comfort ratio of nearly 30. So a nice, comfortable boat. Yeah, well, and yeah. Yeah, reasonable performance. And it's just super attractive. And I, I love these boats. I was surprised to find one in Florida. I think one of our viewers may have um, commented that they had one for sale for, and this might be it. I don't oh, know. I have not confirmed yeah. it. Yeah, uh, and then the other one we went up to, the, he said, don't be, you know, they do cruise right along. They're not, oh, yeah. They're, not, they're no slouches. Exactly. Yeah, right, right. right. They're no slouches. Uh, so a fun boat to sail and nice, comfortable, steady boat. So yeah. That's my, uh, that's my first pick of the day. Nice pick. Not bad. Not All right, bad. you guys like it? Yeah. We're starting to like the double enders more than I, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I'm so drawn to them yeah, almost. Yeah. It's weird. Um, worthy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Should we uh, should we score it up? Let's do it. All right. Let's get the cards. Yeah, let's get the cards out. All right, Kenneth. What's your first pick? Of the All right. So my first one is a 1977 Choi Lee, 32 foot offshore. It's uh, 29.9, and it's located in Venice, Florida. Right. Now, in, in our uh, Washington State episode, I, there was an honorable mention, a special mention for a Choi Lee. It was a 1964, a little older, 35 foot. And uh, it was beautiful, and so it made me sort of look at these when they came up. Because they're beautiful. And that one was also wood too. Wasn't that it? was wood. This, this is fiberglass. This is fiberglass. Nice. Nice. Um, it's a, it's definitely um, you know a lot of work has been done on it. Let's take a look around. It's got the Bimini Dodger thing going oh, on. Oh yeah, full coverage. Yeah, the netting I guess a little for the Fifi keeping the keeping the dog. <laughs> oh, the down below looks nice. Yeah, down below is nice. I just it has the little extra wood detailing that I really like. Well, these yeah. are uh, built in Hong Kong. They, they did a little Hong extra uh, woodworking. Yeah, game. it yeah. says it's uh, main cell 2017. It's got three jibs in good condition. The running mm -hmm. rigging done in 2022. Okay. Um, it's it's got you know all right. the electronics that you would need. Um, you know, a man, a manual win, windlass on this one. That's like ours. That's yeah, fine. Exactly. Yeah. Big portals. Uh, nice you know, airflow. 50 gallon of fuel. Hundred of uh, water. Um, just yep. pretty. The, the yep. sole floor probably needs a little uh, work. It looks like, yeah. It looks um, like it was replaced at some point with, yeah, with yeah, marine plywood. With marine plywood. plywood. So that would be the only thing I'd probably ding it on that. I think she has yeah. AC. We're going to check. Yeah, yeah um, looks like it. Yeah. But um, this is nice, Ken. Um, yeah. Is it Corian? The, the attention. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say. Corian? A little heavy there on the Corian. But I love those little details yeah. and, the, and the, 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 the cabinetry work is yeah. nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's all solid wood. Yeah. Uh, that's beautiful. Leather, it looks like leather uh, settees down yeah, the yeah, table. Very, yeah, very, nice very drop leaf table. Yeah, exactly. I like these doors up into your V berth. Yep, mm -hmm. um, privacy for that and a little air float as well. Yep, keeps the air looks, coming over looks, the top. It looks very comfy in there actually. It does. Yeah. Oh, yeah, tiller. Nice. Yeah, tiller. tiller. It's yeah. a tiller. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, the, I think the other one was as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, so this is uh, that faux teak. Yes. Right. So you got rubberized. It's a rubberized. Uh, rubberized. Yeah. Rubberized. Yep. Your tiller. That's it looks, nice. Yeah. It looks like there was a you know, not self telling winches. Some uh, the blocks. Some there. older equipment. Older equipment. Yeah. But yeah. it's all run. Uh, looks like yeah. it's all run to the cockpit. Yeah. Um, it was. It looked like a little on the on the decking. Wood, there was a little something going boom. on there. Nice. Wood boom. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, right here, it yeah, looks like. and then mm -hmm. down the side. So I'm not sure if that's just the. Mm, it is. It's the, the Florida the, sun that just probably burns just up. brutal yep. on this bakes stuff. It, bakes and it just bakes it, and then you've got lines chafing exactly. against it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but <clears throat> overall, it's not bad, and that stuff would yeah. be a lot easier yeah. to replace yeah. than traditional teak. <laughs> exactly. Um, right. But yeah, so. Um, yeah, so you uh, updated refrigeration, right? Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, new batteries in 2022. I uh, don't know the engine hours on this. It's a Westerbeek 21 okay. uh, three-cylinder diesel, mm. um, but it has had service recently. Okay, and it's presumably <laughs> running. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say the hours, but uh, yeah, a lot to, lot to look at here, but these boats are, were uh, built to last for sure. Um, really, cool. really pretty boat. All riding rigging was done in 2002, 22, 2022. 2022, yeah. Yeah. And the fuel yeah. tank, same. Uh, yeah. holds, this one holds 100 gallons wow. of water. You mentioned that, right? That's yep. a lot of yep. water for yep. a 32. I don't know if that's two tanks off and there are two, 250 <laughs> I think gallons. It is. Yeah, but, uh, I think it is. Expensive. But uh, yeah, it's an alcohol uh, stove. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Cuban back, baby. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right, so there's a ton to go through here. We're yeah. not going to go through all of it, but mm -hmm. uh, that's a pretty boat, Ken. That's a, that's a nice, solid boat. And again, the asking price is $29.9. Yeah. That is the asking price. 
mm. not necessarily what you're going to pay for it. There's your, it's a Westerbeek, it looks like, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, pretty boat. Yeah, let's look at the sailboat data on this one. Um, yeah, there's no picture there, but you've got a length overall of nearly 32, length on water of 27, a beam of 10 and a half. So, yeah, Max draft is there. only four and a half, so you're down to Florida. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Um, again, like Josh said, uh, built in Hong Kong and cellular displacement of just over 16 and nice stiff boat at 37 with your balance displacement yeah. and uh moderate displacement at 256 and a comfort ratio of nearly 27 that's going to be a nice ride and uh yeah. capsize is going under two that's going to be a nice comfortable yeah, I, boat a, a nice comfortable boat and i like the little detailing downstairs it makes it feel a little more homey something you're going to go cruising on yeah you, 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 right great. and speaking of cruising if you're doing any long distance cruising she holds 48 gallons of diesel that's yes. a lot That'll for a 32 a foot boat uh, yeah yeah. The, the metric is really you want 40 gallons if you're going to do long distance blue water cruising. So this has got yeah. 48, so that's pretty sweet. I, I love it, Ken. That's a nice first pick. Nice. Good, yeah, pick. First Good pick. pick. Yeah. Should we uh, let's score, score it up? Yeah, let's let's right, let's up. yeah, definitely. Cue the music. All right, Josh, what's, uh, what's this your first pick of the day here? All right, we're going old school. No, I'm kidding. We're going fast and furious race car style. Multi hole <laughs> Corsair. Nice. She is a fast trimaran, and I don't know if you've ever been on a trimaran, but Have they not. are an incredible ride. It's nothing like it that moves through the water like these things. They're just... Do you feel like it's a better motion or just different motion? This is different. Okay. I, I won't say better. I, I'm a monohole kind of guy. Yeah. But I've done sometimes uh, some racing on uh, uh, some trimarans, yep. and they are fast and furious. Oh, yeah. You definitely need goggles, like... <laughs> <laughs> like those? Like these. Those sweet like things? goggles. Okay. Like I want to splash water on you right now, but I don't those, have any hands. Those jockeys, they just rip them right off because they get all full of seawater, you know? You have multiple pairs yeah, on it. Okay. Yeah, turn the fan on. So, so uh, uh, 34.9 for this thing? Okay. And, and it's, it's a 2000. I mean, okay. it's, she's wow. built, you know, uh, for speed, yep. and she's recent. 24 feet? 24 feet. Um, these are kind of cool because, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Coming in hot. I mean, they go like 20 knots. Jeez. 20 knots. I mean, okay. it's, it's crazy. Wow. Even a 24 footer would hit, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. Looks fast. And what, which is neat is they're, uh, they're, they're trailable, so you can actually fold up the pontoons and put it on a trailer, which is nice. And uh, what I like about trimarans versus uh, catamarans is it, it's, it's one hull. That houses everything, so mm. you're not it's doubling everything stuff. like yeah. your engines and your water, which makes catamarans twice as expensive. Right. So um, these are ba it's basically a monohull which, without riggers. Uh, yeah. And this is cool. And they're, they're fast and fun. And there's your outboard on Just there. have a great time with these boats. Uh, and if you want to get somewhere fast, <laughs> yeah. No. Your mm -hmm. And and to there's your point about folding it up and trailing it, like yeah. uh, it, particularly down in Florida, it's hard to find a mooring or a slip. Right, and right. as it is in many places, but so, so this, this would be considered a trailer, a trailer sailor, sailor and yeah, you yes. can bring this yeah. home and, and store it in your yard. There's but there she is. That's a nice yeah, shot. A nice shot there. Yeah. I so there's that, some room down below. I mean, it's there is. I mean, yeah. it's twenty what twenty twenty four feet. Twenty four feet. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, she must full just full batten sails. Looks like. Oh yeah, uh, wow. yeah. Those are some nice mile. Nice uh, sails. Good inventory there. Yeah. Yeah. She's, they're fast. I did some racing uh, down in Florida on a Condor uh, 40, and she, what a wet ride, but she was fast. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. And, oh, this uh, is a fresh water boat. And it, it, it's great. Uh, okay. So it's in Stewart, Florida. I'm not sure if that's oh, in yeah. a little bit. So that they would, And these photos look like it's on a lake, not on the ocean. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Wow. Pretty, right. pretty. Are now, any, is there anywhere? a head down below or any other? The, uh, I know the Condor had a head up below the. Uh, yeah, let me uh, see if we can figure that out real quick. I don't uh, think this one does. Just... It might have a porta potty on here. Yeah. Uh, nav lights. We can find out and put it on there. But this is made less for cruising, more for speed and fun. Really. This is a day yeah. sailor. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is it's going a day out. sailor for yeah. sure. Yeah. But uh, I just thought, you know. I think we've been underrepresenting the the uh, multi holes. The How dare you? I know. Yeah. Hey. Um, yeah, we'll have to find out about the head on this. I know it doesn't look like it off at first glance, but uh, who cares? Uh, <laughs> you're going to be going so fast, and it's going to be so scary. You're just going to wet your pants. Anyway. So, <laughs> you, you would be able yeah. to get down. I mean, time. honestly, yeah, when you see this right. picture, this guy is like, "Oh know, God, right? I'm going to kill somebody." Like, this is um, happy, happy. Well, let's look yeah. at the uh, let's look at the uh, sailboat date on this. Uh, so this uh, it's the mark it's the mark two. Yeah, yeah. You're just going to wet your pants. You don't need a head. Yeah. Uh, beam of nearly 18 feet, length overall 24. 200 of these were built, very popular boats. Yeah. Um, 
and we don't have a lot of information though the cellular displacement is uh, 41 <laughs> so uh, yeah, comfort fine. ratio not listed. yeah there's nothing to put a comfort ratio on this this has nothing to do with comfort uh, it's a speed or, freak okay yeah yeah this yeah, is absolutely. yeah this is this is for going fast and having a ball right. so you can put it in a fresh water or in the, yeah. or Get in the, the trapeze bay. out right yeah mm -hmm. right you need a mm -hmm. harness of the trapeze on that yeah uh all right yeah. that's very yeah, cool that's a different take i like that don't like bring that. fifi on board this one no 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 not unless she's got a life jacket and a, a leash on her. Or Aquaman. Yeah. Uh, no, very cool. That's cool. A, I, like, I like the fact that we've got a different type of boat in here. That's cool. Yep. Uh, nice pick, Josh. Nice pick. All right, yeah. should we uh, vote it up? Yep. yep. Vote it up. Vote it up. Good. 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 Here we are. We're back with my second pick of the day. This is a 1986 41 foot Morgan Out Island classic. List price of 26500 Located in Inglewood, Florida. You may have heard of that, Josh. I, I think I have some land down there. Oh, you do have some land yeah. down there. Yeah. I'm currently taking offers. So please, <laughs> don't offend me. Uh, yeah, low ball. Bid. Yeah, fifty percent. All right. So listen, this is a really cool boat. We own a Morgan, obviously, but this is the Out Island. These things were huge in the charter industry uh, and in the private uh, sector. But this is this is a really nice example of the Out Island. I'm not typically a fan of the Out Islands, but this one is killer. Uh, she's got a Yanmar diesel with uh, high hours, thirty five hundred, but uh, it's a Westerbeek. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's yeah, a Myanmar. Myanmar. Yeah. Um, uh, and, you know, if it's been well maintained, uh, it should be okay, but it's probably getting near the end of its useful life. But you've got two marine AC units, you've got refrigeration, you've got AIS yeah. transponder, EPIRB, autopilot, VHF, stereo, uh, most importantly, 600 watts of solar. Wow. Um, she's 100% off grid. Uh, new sales only used a few times, roller furling, 85 gallons of fuel, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. 85 and gallons? Get this, 215 gallons of water she holds. So she's totally percent off totally grid. 100% <laughs> off grid. Now, wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, let's look at the pictures yeah, because yeah. Center it's hard complete. to find these in really good condition. This one really looks to be nice. I like those panels, uh, the solar panels. The solar panels yeah. up over yeah. the bimini yeah. there, um, sort of acting as a bimini. Yeah. Um, so the hull looks in good shape. The down below looks really, really nice. Uh, she's 86, so it's going to be easy to insure her. Yeah. Uh, you got a gimbal stove. There's your galley. Center uh, cockpit, right? Center cockpit. Yeah. You got an aft yeah. cabin. Nice big main salon here. It looks uh, very comfortable. All the woodwork looks wow. great. You got some carpet down on the floor to, so you don't slide around and break your neck down there in the humidity. Wow. But, um, there's your uh, bimini oh, frame. Oh, Dodger, Dodger frame, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Aft hatch for your aft cockpit. Nice, nice opening hatches here. A nice wide decks. Uh, there's your spar. Looks a little you know, it's been sitting there for a yeah, while, but there's a roll in front of yeah. But not a lot of photos, but uh, yeah, if I'd you like want a comfortable boat. Yeah, I'd like to see that under sail as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll yeah. find some pictures. But if you want a comfortable boat uh, and you want to do some well, long distance cruising, yeah. it looks like, uh, like you said, you are off grid and off you go. You're yeah. 600 gone. watts of solar, AC, uh, 200 and whatever gallons of water. It's unbelievable. You can go so, away and stay away yeah. for a long time. You yeah. can go and stay away for a long time. So, standard sloop, she's not a catch or a y'all. Yeah. Uh, standard sloop rig on this. Uh, nice shallow draft, protected prop. Right. right. Um, so, so, what yeah. is the draft? It's very shallow. The draft is oh. under five feet, 4.83. That for a 41 footer, yeah. Wow. Uh, 151, 150 of these were built. Um, uh, obviously, Charlie Morgan design. And it's a Morgan. And it's a Morgan. We, we love our Morgan. We love our Morgan. Beam is almost 14 feet on this 41 yeah. footer. Um, wow. How did I miss this? <laughs> yeah. yeah man. Uh, cellular displacement. She's not going to be the fastest boat in light air, uh, but when it blows, she'll go. Cares. 15 yeah. and a half cellular displacement. Nice. A stiff boat at 37 at 36.96. Comfort ratio of around 30 at 29.27. Got to be higher, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, moderate displacement wow. of uh, 261 and capsize of under two and an S factor of almost two. So uh, if you want a comfortable boat, this is, she's 23,000 pounds. She's a heavy boat. Wow. Uh, nice, wow. steady, comfortable boat. Is it a... 800 number there, I can call. <laughs> <laughs> it says no brokers allowed. That's fair. Oh, but I love it. Anyway, okay. uh, that's my second pick of the day. What do you think? Uh, well right, done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, right? yeah nice one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. feeling lucky yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. All right, let's score her up. All right. Craig Canadian, Ken. What's right. this your second pick here? Uh, this is going to be the winner. It's a 1991 <laughs> North Star. Anastasia is a 36 foot double ender at 23.9, so really good price point. Wow. In, located down in Panama City, Florida. This is just a beautiful boat. I think like we've mentioned, we're starting to like these double ender boats. Mm. It's a cutter rig, 
uh, full bat in Maine. This has spent her. like 18 months, last year and a half, down in the Caribbean. So it is set for cruising. Oasis. Cheap right? sex. Yeah. Cheap. Oh, yeah, yeah baby. Oh, it, man. It, it's all set up. And there's it's our set. grill. How'd they get that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's got twin tanks on there, man. Yeah, He's going cruising. Yeah, double windless, I believe, on two Is, that a, is yeah. that a manual? Uh, yeah, I think it's yeah. manual. manual. Yeah. yeah. But meant Ooh. for cruising, really a, a pretty yeah. boat above and below, looks very comfortable. Get your like inflatable it, um, right up there on yeah. that. All right, helm. Helm. nice helm. Been a lot of decent, uh, decent upgrades by the owner, fuel pump, all things <laughs> that. Seat. Little captain. Yeah. Seat. Yeah. Captain, yeah. Seat. Yeah. I love that, yeah. I love that. Sheesh. You know, two 50 gallon water tanks and two- 100 50, gallons of water? 100 gallons of water. Wow. Jeez. And uh, 100 gallons of fuel as well. Wow. wow! And shipped yep. ashore, apparently. Yeah. Shipped ashore. Yep. All the all the electronics well, are a little Char rough there on the engine. I guess. Now Perkins. that Perkins looks like a little yeah, a little beat up. I don't know if we have the hours on that. We can check. Um, oh, nice. but the oh, new wow. fuel nice. filter fuel separation. Yeah. That, that's redundant fuel filters. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Have. Reminds yeah. me of something we have. Yeah, yeah I've seen that before. So <laughs> but, there's, there's something about that these photos, oh, like really? that one right there, oh, is yeah. like this is not just a boat. This is like your apartment. This is so mm. comfortable. I mean, I just can see living on this. So your cabin that, in the woods. So that's beautiful. Mean, nicely, electronics all set up nicely. Yeah, all it, it, per... I love the little ports. Are uh, are beautiful. Yeah, they're the they're round. They're sort of an oval shape. Oh, yeah, just unusual. Shape 23. Wow. Yeah, I know. And look, it's got the, the gimbling stove and yeah, oven. Yeah. Looks like it's all been that looks yeah, new. It, it looks nice. The sole yeah. floor looks nice. It's oh, got radar, radar. Yeah. lazy jacks, lazy jacks. Uh, lights on your spreaders, too. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, that's always nice to have, yeah. actually. Good idea. Yeah, yeah. it is yeah. nice for all that one. night sailing. Yeah, uh, so they okay, interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. So it's that's a uh, it's that cutter. is, a, is yeah. a cutter rig. That's yeah. pretty. So uh, I was just noticing this, Ken. Um, oh, a drop. That's right. In February, it went down. Early February, six, six grand. grand. So it sort of wow. tells you, like, boy, this they, buyer's market. They, buyer's and they, market. they want to sell this, but it's just, yeah. I think it's a beautiful. So it's great. Uh, a ton of, of stuff lot, here yes. that you guys can exactly. go look through that Ken just mentioned. But yep. uh, wow. suffice to say, holds a ton of water, holds a ton of fuel. Yeah. Uh, and you could go anywhere with this. That's spacious. And, and a lot of updates yep. as of uh, 2022 and 2023. Yeah, yeah. Um, do we know if she has AC? Probably. Don't see that, but okay. I also see it has a 40 watt three blade wind generator. So oh, that's nice. Yeah, not mounted currently. So plus, okay. plus solar. Yeah, emergency tiller. Yeah, and the solar exactly. Nice, nice. Yeah, so she's short, ready to go. Cover so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's a really pretty boat. Yeah, it is. Again, I after like you're starting to see these Francis, it's sort of like, yeah. wow, I know. You just started having another look at that. Yeah. Oasis, we bought the wrong yeah, boat. The name is great. <laughs> this, <laughs> I'm not sure how. Uh, Compliant that is. Uh, yeah, a lot of money. Yeah, if we yeah. bought this one. Uh, yeah, it does sort of have similar. Uh, the cabin sort of reminds me yeah. of the Francis a little bit, um, mm -hmm. right? Especially yeah. the double liner. But I love the teak, even though mm -hmm. you know you got to look at. Make, make sure you get a good survey on this. That's exactly. all we're saying. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I love teak. So looking this up, uh, this we is couldn't a, find the exact one. But this is the one he has in the listing. So I'm wondering if the bow sprit makes her 36. I uh, see. Uh, and and this is what we're looking at. And if that's the case, it's the only one we can find that matches anything mm. close to what yeah. we're looking at. So. We're going to assume this is it. Um, length overall of 32 with the bowsprit longer, uh, length on water 25, beam of nearly 12. So for yeah. that length of boat, that's a wide boat. So you're going to have some nice room down And this below. was only built until 1978, which is I because know. this is a 1991. So there's so something that's interesting. Just, something's there, not it, jiving. Still the there's Bruce, only seven built? The Bruce yeah. Benham uh, design. And that, yeah, so that, so that all trying jives. To, we're trying to find, put it all together. Yeah. Um, so if somebody yeah. knows anything, let us know. Exactly. Uh, because exactly. we're yeah. trying to figure this out. But so there's a displacement of uh, just over 13, so not going to be fast and light air. Uh, ballast displacement of 29, so relatively stiff. She's an ultra heavy displacement at 597. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And a comfort ratio of blowing the doors off at 44. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. I mean, yeah. oh my God. I'm moving in. <laughs> I'm moving in. You can live out there. If you this want a sweet. cruiser to, to yeah. get you around and down yeah. to Florida or off to the Caribbean, yep. wow. Sweet, yep. sweet boat. I love it. Gotta love go, it. boys. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, make let's, uh, all right, that's my number two. Uh, that's good sweet. That's a good pick. Let's load it up. Yeah, I like that. All right, Josh, uh, tell us what our last, your last pick of the day is here. What are we looking at? All right, my last pick, uh, traditional, old school. All right, Cal, Ooh. 32, no, 33, sorry. 33-2. Dash two, dash two yeah. correct. Uh, built in 1986, asking price of 38000 Higher end of today's range. It is indeed. I think we could beat this one down a little bit, but... Very pretty boat, well set up for cruising. Um, I, I like a cow. They've got the davits with a dinghy on the back. He's got bimini, solar, roller furling, 
Um, and what I really like is how spacious this boat feels down below. Um, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, totally been redone. Uh, nice leather. Yeah, I think it is leather. Yeah, so yeah it looks and, nice. Yeah, it's pretty airy. Um, uh, and they're a really capable boat, very uh, quick, uh, nimble. Well, the Cal 40 is an iconic American race boat. I mean, right. it, it, it yeah. won its class in the 2022 uh, Newport Bermuda race. Mm. Um, so, uh, you know, a 45 year old boat or whatever it was. Uh, that's I mean, a pretty boat. Where, right. Where's Titusville? Titusville, uh, eastern seaboard of uh, Florida, I think close to Cape Canaveral. Oh, nice. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's got the Dodger Bimini So That is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, and she's set up for cruising. Yeah. Um, Two burner stove yeah. and, uh, and it's, solar. Got, uh, it's got solar, it's got refrigeration. Nice. Yeah, nice. a lot of See. upgrades to uh, 2015, uh, a lot of new sinks and stoves and upholstery. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's been, you can go, everyone else can go through this list, but there's, uh, there's a lot going a lot on here. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it comes with the, not only the dinghy dives, but it comes with the 2015 Achilles uh, oh, uh, Zodiac. The Zodiac. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget the uh, whale gupper. Whale gusher. I think that's a typo in there. A typo? It's a typo. I've never heard of the gupper. Uh, yeah, no, so <laughs> this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a fast, fun boat to sail, I got to yeah, say. Yeah. Um, very versatile. But very, very versatile, so you can cruise this as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, new headliner replaced in 2014 in the main salon area. That's nice. Uh, new new head sailors in 2021. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, a lot. A lot it's of, a U.S. Yeah. documented, U.S. Coast Guard documented vessel too, which is kind of nice. A lot um, of work been put into this boat. Um, I, I would agree with that, and it shows. Uh, she looks turnkey, yeah. and I think that's probably why the higher price, the higher price um, yeah. asking price, I, I, asking, asking price. price everybody, <laughs> exactly. don't freak out. Uh, yeah. You can go in at twenty-two if you want on this, and I did. I did just read that the sides on this Bimini drop. Oh, uh, so you got a full enclosure, which is nice. Yeah. Nice. So let's look at the uh, nice. we'll data on this. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. This is a classic, uh, you know, '80s sloop. Um, yeah. And uh, what year is she? Yeah, '84. '84. So you're, she's yeah. gonna be yeah '86 actually. So oh, okay. you're gonna be easy to insure her. Yep. Um, Very beaming. 33 feet overall, 27 and a half on the water, 11.33 beam. Yeah, nice, yep. nice beamy boat. Yep. Max wrap just over six feet. So watch those uh, sandbars. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is a, this is a nice, fun, fast boat. So it didn't yeah. say how many engine hours are on there, but um, we can try to find out. 50 yeah, gallons of water, water. sailor displacement of over 18. Nice fast boat, light air. It's a nice stiff boat at 41.44. Uh, moderate displacement at 231. Comfort ratio down a little lower because she's a fin keel fast boat. She's more yeah, of a nimble. racer cruiser, yeah. uh, nimble boat, um, and an S factor of 2.47. So yeah, that's gonna yeah, be a fast, fast boat. boat. So you could you could yeah. race this, cruise oh, I this, think so, yeah. whatever you want to do. Um, that's a nice pick, Josh. Uh, I love yeah. these cows, and like we said, that Cal 40 is sort of an iconic uh, boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big cold falling for those, but uh, yeah, if you, all get, right. if you get the scratch, it's worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. absolutely. Yeah. And again, uh, Ken was just saying, if you feel uncomfortable with an offer that you're thinking of, that's the right offer. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so even, even you feel odd about it. Yeah, yeah if you right. feel odd about yeah. it, that's the right number to go yeah. with. Uh, all right, let's lays out beautifully down below. Yeah, say. it's a nice layout. And yeah. that galley, you can really tuck in here. Yep. And so in a sea state, you're nice and locked in there, which yeah. is nice. Yeah. So I like it. That's yeah, a pretty good, boat. Yeah, good pick. Nice condition. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's yeah. score it up. All right. Okay, so now we're going to do our honorable mention boats. There's four of them, one each, and then we have a wild card. So uh, we're not going to do the sailboat date on these. We're just going to blast through them. So my first honorable mention is a 1988 Pearson 31-2. List price of 34200 located in Orange Park, Florida. I love these Pearsons. This one looks to be clean, and it's got a, a wing keel. Ooh, leather. Nice leather down below, or leatherette, uh, but it looks clean and tidy. Red leather. Red leather. Yeah. Uh, all the upholstery looks nice. All the woodwork looks nice. Uh, nice cockpit, nice comfortable uh, bimini there, roller furling. Uh, it's got all the bells and whistles. So wing keel. Uh, we'll let you go. Yeah, wing keel, well maintained, and uh, it's a newer listing. Um, but I love these Pierces. If you're looking for a moderate sized boat uh, that's safe, comfortable, and easy to sail, this would be for you. So that's my first honor. 30, 34,000? 34,200. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, who's going next with their honorable Yeah, I'll go next. So right. my uh, one is a 1984 Canadian Sailcraft. So it's a CS36. Oh yeah, it's, nice. Uh, you know, it's, it was made in Ontario, Canada, and I'm, you know, I was born in, in Ontario, Little Canada. Bias. So that's why we call you Canadian Canada. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. 28.5 sense, had a recent price drop, $1,500. It's located in Miami, Florida. Like yeah, nice. Yeah. It's yeah. Really. nice. It's got the Davits. It's got a 110 solar power. Um, Bimini, nice Bimini, Bimini, yeah, recent Dodger. upgrades and wiring breaker 
features full electronics. It's got a Westerbeek uh, with 2,100 engine hours on it, but still, I think it's, it'd be pretty good. Wow, she looks clean. She Drip looks very clean. This is a nice shaft boat. Shaft seal. Yeah. Stack um, pack. Yep. Yeah. So uh, this company, I think, is no longer, went out in the 90s, but for about 25 years, they made these. Mm. Um, uh, these are pretty yeah, boats. Yeah, they're really pretty boats. And fast. They're, yep. they're reasonably fast boats. Yeah, all right. The radar fast and pack. all that. So that's just, your honorable mention. That's my, that's my Arnie. Wow. wow. That's right. great. That's great. Yeah. Joshua, what, what, what do you got here? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, the Endeavor. Yeah, oh, good, yeah. solid, safe boat. Yeah. Uh, 1984, she's 35 and a half feet, mm -hmm. sloop, and uh, 29.9. Located so, in Daytona Beach. I love Daytona. Yeah, let's you blast it. Why? You can drive on the, the beach, beach in Daytona. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't hear, I didn't think that's what you were going to say, but I'm glad I was. <laughs> yeah. Talk about getting sand in the gears. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes. Oh, this looks nice. It looks like you got AC on this it's, thing. It's um, very airy, big portals, yeah, a lot of airflow, which is nice. That's a little funky, but... Yeah, but she's, yeah, I think she needs a little love, but yeah. uh, other than that, she's pretty clean and pretty open. Nice Look at that. Nice, 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 little inlay. nice touch. Nice touch. Nice there. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, the woodwork looks really solid. And it does. Good shape. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a nice looking little she's boat. She's a capable boat. Um, I think the price point's a little high, but again, these are asking prices. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, right. So therefore, ship to shore power, clearly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's nice. All right. Well, um, All right, so, so this is how it's going to work. We're going to we're going to uh, tally up our scores. We're going to present our individual scores, and we're com we will combine them all then for our ultimate winner. So uh, stand by. The free hat. And, oh yeah, we're giving away a free hat. <laughs> Apparently, we're giving away a free hat. What about Go Ship? Go Ship. Uh, oh we're yeah, Go Ship. ship. Sorry. Jeez. Go ship. All right. Yeah. So our wild card Go Ship is a 1990 Island Packet 32 Cutter. Now. Uh, this is not a picture of her, that's a picture of uh, her gate. So, uh, sorry about that. This boat was in an accident in a hurricane. Katrina. Uh, Katrina. Yeah. Uh, and she's owned by a for, uh, retired uh, Coast Guard um, Ooh, uh, great, member. Yeah. And the boat great. was damaged, and the Coast Guard gentleman owner uh, started working on her, but it has to give it up for health reasons. But she's been on the hard for a number of years now. Uh, her hull was replaced, uh, I'm sorry, repaired. Um, yeah. So it's just sort of the nuts and bolts left over, and obviously some uh, topside paint mm -hmm. on your Ooh, deck yeah. and topsides. Yeah. Um, scrub a dub dub. Scrub yeah. a dub dub, but all the parts are in place, yeah. right? I guess uh, new uh, new rigging, but it just hasn't been installed yet. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's a project boat. We recognize yes. that. Yeah. Um, but these can go for a lot more. A lot more than, lot than more this. More so the list price is thirty nine nine, and she's in uh, Bradenton, Florida. Um, but she's a 1990. So if you have, here's, yeah, this nice, is a good nice, picture nice of it. If you, you have the ability, the DIY ability or, uh, some money reserves to pay someone to do it, you could have yourself a really nice boat here, mm, yeah. uh, that's going to be capable and she has been repaired. Uh, so it's a bit of a wild card. We understand that, but, uh, these boats usually go for ninety, hundred thousand dollars exactly. easily. Very uh, stable boat. Yep. Very stable boat. Very World big. cruisers. Yep. Um, mm. so if you have that kind of fortitude, this might be a good look for you yep. to take a look and at. Time, it. time, and yeah. time has the potential. For yep. sure. Yeah, uh, a fixer upper. And if you're down, down in Florida near this area, then this would be kind of a sweet boat, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, did you see anyway. that helm? It's wee. It is. Oh. All the island pilot helm, yeah. Pilot yeah. helms are kind too. of wee. Yeah. yeah, they're very small. Uh, but nice big cockpits and yeah. and very comfortable boats, very stable. Uh, especially for yeah. 32 feet. Yeah. Um, so anyway, she's our wild card. Uh, let's uh, let's vote them up. All, All right. right. All right. We're gonna come back with our individual scores. All right. So here we go. So we're gonna reveal our individual winners, and then we're gonna uh, combine our scores for the ultimate winners. So my uh, so we're gonna do first, second, and third for each of us, and then we'll combine for our ultimate. So. Sorry, with my third, third first. The third, third first. I'm starting with my third. Yeah. third uh, my third place uh, winner today was the Francis 26 you see here oh. uh, with 19 and a half points. Uh, my second place was the uh, North Star Anastasia at uh, 20 points. And then my first place in my lineup was the uh, Morgan at 20 and a half points. Ooh. Throw How about you, Ken? The half right, point in there, so, huh? Yeah, do the half point. I had very similar. So third at 21.5, I had the Francis. Okay. Which I just love. Uh, wow. My second one was the Morgan. Came All in right. at 22. All right. And mm. my first pick was the North Star, the Anastasia, 22.5. Excellent. 22.5. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I love All it. right. I love that, it. And that's fair. You use your half points, I tell you. Yeah, you know, All it's right. higher math. You, you, <laughs> you, you use I sixes. Get, I can't use fractions. <laughs> <laughs> half points? Half what points? Come on. All right. What do you All got? Right, Josh? Number three, Cal 33. Okay. Uh, 22 points. 22. All right. Uh -huh. uh, uh, number two, Morgan. Hello. Right. 
23 points. All right. And the number one point, 24 points for the North Star. Yeah. Wow. Six. Almost wow. a perfect score of 25. I, I think that's know. the closest we've gotten. I know. Wow. Wow. All right, well, generous, uh, generous it seems story. like a foregone conclusion, but let's yes. uh, tally the totals and come back with our ultimate for a second. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> All right, so we did some calculating, some beating, beeping, beeping <laughs> and used our fingers uh, huh? and a calculator maybe, I and uh, we finally came up with a consensus on a winner. Uh, it was a hard-fought battle, some great boats today. So uh, mm. coming in third place was the beautiful uh, Francis 26, Victoria yep. Francis 26. Yep. Um, coming in second was uh, a crowd pleaser, the 1991 North Star Anastasia. Two double enders in a row. Two there. double enders. Yeah, uh, interesting. And then uh, kicking on the drums, kicking on the drums, please don't you do it. I, we've got a soundtrack for that. And uh, coming in at, one at a total of 65.5 is the beautiful. Just, you know, controversially beautiful uh, <laughs> Morgan Out Island 41 Classic. She is a comfortable boat, and she's hot, hot, hot. She's number one this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in and watching us three clowns do this. It was a lot of fun today, and uh, tune in next it. week. I can't believe it. Anastasia didn't make it. I know, I but know. if you want comfort wow. and, you know, yeah. going, you know, anywhere, basically, this boat can take Yeah, it was, you know, it was the off-grid one. I'm, I'm right? taking the, the hat back. I'm taking the hat back. Yeah. No <laughs> one is winning the hat no today. No one's getting the hat. It's mine. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Hopeful sailing in our modest vessels, waves we wrestle, making all the sirens sing. Ocean air sailing there, we still enjoy the finer things, we don't care. The view is pretty good for